Hey everyone, it's Melissa here from Little Kosher Lunch and it's summertime. Hana over at Heder at Home, another mommy YouTuber who I really love, she recently did an unschooling in the summer video and it really got me thinking about how I've been feeling about the summer and how I've wanted to just sort of turn my kids loose and take a break. And so I wanted to talk about summer lunches and using that feeling of sort of looseness and freedom and just being relaxed to put into your summer lunches. Now for the past couple couple of weeks my kids have both been off from school and camp and we've had no real routine and I have kind of taken it easy but the other thing that's been really rewarding is packing summertime lunches and eating them with my kids out in the world doing fun activities and so while I took a short break and I was kind of relaxed for a while and they were just grazing I did get back to summer lunch packing and I wanted to share some of those summer lunch ideas with you and my sort of summer lunch philosophy so that if you're getting in gear for a long summer at home with your kids or a summer of packing camp lunches, these might give you some inspiration. Today I'm packing my planet boxes and I just wanted to let you know that my number one tip for packing summertime lunches is to just pack them with fruit, fruit, maybe some vegetables and more fruit because my number one priority for my kids is packing lunches that will keep them hydrated, that will be healthy, that will be refreshing, and really whatever else goes in there is fine. Here on this table is all the beautiful summertime fruits. I have things like a bowl of watermelon that I've cut up. I have blueberries. I have another melon to cut. We have delicious mangoes right now, and we have even the baby bananas as well as the big bananas. Fruit is inexpensive and delicious in the summer, and it's great for your kids. So that is really the thing that I primarily stuff my lunchbox with, and then whatever else they want. And that can be things that are a little bit junky and fun that I know they're gonna be enticed by, or it can be food that is leftovers. I have started off these lunch boxes today with a bed of blueberries, and because I'm trying super extra hard because it's gonna be first day of camp, I actually cut up my watermelon. I have a whole video about cutting watermelon, but I had some big slices I did, and I used some cookie cutters on a somewhat seedy melon, and I made little girl and little boy shapes. So I'm gonna get Give each of my kids at least one little girl and one little boy you can bust out a melon baller or a cookie cutter or what have you so we're just gonna get that nestled the other thing that I like about this technique is I like getting some contrast or two types of fruits if they're not in the mood for berries they'll go for the watermelon or vice versa and I love the color contrast so that is a little tip for you for your lunch boxes I am always putting in vegetables and dip in my lunches you'll see this in lots of lunch boxes that I've been packing thus far in the warm summer months I even combine fruits and vegetables together in a little salad kind of combination and here today I'm just putting in some cucumbers that kind of go with my sushi theme today I also like to use whatever I have growing in the yard so I'm growing cucumbers I'm growing tomatoes over here I can just throw in one tomato in the lunchbox to kind of jazz it up if need be today I'm garnishing with some pansies that we're growing in a pot and that makes things feel a little bit special uh, or you can pick something like a sprig of mint from your herb pot I highly endorse growing your own fresh herbs it saves money it's great learning for your children and it makes for really beautiful lunch boxes so here's some flowering thyme and I'm just gonna keep on making this super gardeny and fresh and summery and beautiful and just I'm just filling it in I decided today to make my lunch using leftovers from last night's dinner so I did sauteed red cabbage and steamed rice for dinner I also happen to have leftover uh, grilled salmon and some tartar sauce that I mixed up just using mayo and chopped up pickles. I threw a slice of cucumber in there and whipped up the sushi. And I have to tell you, I've been making my sushi wrong. I laid my sheet of nori horizontally today um, rather than vertically like a sheet of paper. And I got um, a little bit easier eight cuts of sushi out of one sheet of nori. For the summertime, I really try to be relaxed. I'm less concerned about giving my kids protein during their lunch meal because lighter meals are easier for them during the camp day. I'm getting breakfast into my kids in the morning and I'm getting dinner into them at night and they're likely gonna get protein during those meals. In today's lunch, I did happen to pack protein in the form of this salmon in these sushi rolls, but it could be vegan sushi, it could be just cucumbers, it could be avocado. It happens to have beautiful coloring from the cabbage 
that I put in with the rice. I also have some beets tucked away in the refrigerator to do beet rice sushi maybe next week. So this is a really fun, fun trick that my kids love for me to pack. I happen to put them on little Swiss chard leaves and sometimes when I garnish like this, my kids end up eating the leaves too and they might even stick these into their soy sauce dip and enjoy that as well. Let's be relaxed this summer, guys. This could be leftover noodles. This could be a defrosted bagel from your freezer with some cream cheese. This could be lox and bagel, which I store in my freezer at all times, the package of lox and the bagels. Today I thawed a take and bake um, bread that you can bake in your oven or bake in the toaster. So all of those doodads that I stock in my pantry and freezer are really useful in the summers when, you know, the days are long and the nights are short and the kids are up for a lot of hours and I don't have a lot of time to prep this. You're gonna see a lot of that kind of stuff like cheese and crackers in my lunches, plain noodles with cheese, a pasta salad, just taking it easy and not necessarily a ton of protein. Last but not least, in this big compartment, I am packing snacks that my kids love. Crunchy snacks are really big, like these veggie pops, these potato chips, tortilla chips, pretzels, nuts if you can send nuts, whatever snacks your kids like. You know, I try to buy family size if I'm buying pre-made snacks to cut down on plastic use. These puffs for my daughter who really loves them and some potato chips for my big girl who loves potato chips and treat them because when they open their lunch in the summer and they're burning a lot of calories, I don't mind if they have chips. I do keep keep some sweet treats on hand. It could be a Hershey's Kiss or a chocolate chip or these miniature Oreos. Again, I am buying the family size package. They love these. They can just have one, you know? They can just have one. The one thing that is different in the summers from the school year, I don't know, maybe this is gonna happen in school next year, but camp requests that I send a snack Camp requests that I send a snack in addition to the lunch. So I wanted to talk a little bit about snacks and what I have planned for this week. Here it is thawing, but this is a zucchini bread. I do zucchini bread, I do banana bread, and I have a video about my amazing banana bread. It is requested by my kids, and in the summertime, it's terrible to turn on your oven, so do it at nighttime or do it on a cool summer day if you have like a cool day in the forecast. Turn your oven on then and bake a loaf and put one in the freezer for another time. I've put this away, anticipating lunch packing coming up this week, and I'm just gonna slice off, and I can either put a snack, it could be a sweet snack like this or a salty snack, in these little satellite dishes that I can tuck in the pocket of a backpack or I have additional bees wrap. This is like a natural wax paper that's reusable. It's waxed cloth and I can just wrap a little piece of zucchini bread for my daughters this week in this. So this is just a little bit of insight into what I'm packing in a summer lunch. This is a, obviously a special summer lunch being the first day of camp. I am packing tons of ice packs. These are the Planet Box ones that come with my lunch kit or I buy them to add on to my lunch kit. On really hot days, I will double ice pack it and put one on either side of my lunch box, pack the night before and pre-chill these metal lunch boxes and they stay cold for a very long time. Let me know what you're packing for your summertime lunches or are you packing summer lunches at all? I'm trying to take it a little bit easier on myself. We're doing a special lunch for tomorrow, but we're gonna be doing a lot of noodles and fruit this summer, you guys. A lot of cheese and crackers and fruit, a lot of vegetables and dip. And for me, that's okay for my kids. It's healthy, it's nutritious, it's in season, and it's gonna keep them hydrated. So that's my MO this summer, and I hope you guys are having a great one. Take care, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.